Welcome to today's lecture on one of the most influential figures in Italian literature and philosophy, Giacomo Leopardi. In this lecture, we introduce the poet's life, work, and his philosophical pessimism. Giacomo Leopardi remains one of Italy's most influential literary figures, perhaps second in importance only to Dante, is highly celebrated for his philosophical insights, poetry, and critical essays. Born into a noble but impoverished family in Reconati, Italy, his life was marked by physical ailments, intellectual precocity, and existential melancholy. His works reflect a profound engagement with the human condition, grappling with themes of disillusionment, mortality, and the limits of human knowledge. Giacomo Leopardi was born on June 29, 1798, in Reconati, a small town in the Papal States. He was the eldest son of Minaldo Leopardi and Adelaide Antici. Leopardi's childhood was characterized by fragile health, exacerbated by a hunchback deformity and recurrent eye problems, which led to his isolation and introspection. However, despite his physical limitations, he displayed remarkable intellectual curiosity from an early age, devouring classical literature and philosophy in his father's library. Leopardi's education began at home under the tutelage of private tutors who introduced him to Greek, Latin, and the humanities. His father, a staunch conservative, maintained strict control over his studies, fearing the influence of radical ideas. Nevertheless, Leopardi pursued an independent course of reading, delving into the works of Enlightenment thinkers, learning several languages such as English, French, and Hebrew, as well as forging his own philosophical outlook. Meanwhile, his life at Riccanati weighed on him increasingly, to the point where he attempted to escape in 1818, but he was caught by his father and brought home. Thereafter, relations between father and son continued to deteriorate, and Giacomo was constantly monitored by the rest of the family. In 1822, a brief stay in Rome with his uncle left Giacomo Leopardi deeply disillusioned. He was dismayed by the city's atmosphere of corruption and decadence, as well as the hypocrisy he perceived within the church. Despite his disappointment, the sight of Torquato Tasso's Tom stirred a sense of kinship with the poet, both sharing a profound sense of unhappiness. Rome, in Leopardi's eyes, pallid in comparison to the idealized image he had constructed of it. His romantic disillusionment, compounded by ongoing physical ailments, added to his sense of desolation. In 1824, Leopardi received an invitation from a bookstore owner in Milan, prompting him to relocate between Milan, Bologna, Florence, and Pisa. Despite encountering notable figures such as Alessandro Manzoni and Pietro Coletta during his travels, Leopardi's health continued to deteriorate. In 1828, he declined a professorship offer in Bonn or Berlin due to his declining health. For said to return to Reconati, he struggled to sustain himself financially until 1830, when support from the Friends of Tuscany allowed him to return to Florence. Here, he found solace among liberal circles advocating for Italian independence from Austrian rule, although his pessimistic views often isolated him from others. Lipardi eventually sought refuge in Naples hoping the climate would improve his health. Tragically, he succumbed to the cholera epidemic of 1837, likely due to complications from his fragile physical condition. Thanks to the intervention of his friend Antonio Ranieri, Leopardi's remains were interred in the church of San Vitale at Fuori Grotta. In 1898, his tomb was relocated to the Parco Virgiliano in Mergellina, where it was declared a national monument. Giacomo Leopardi's literary works constitute a profound exploration of the human condition, marked by themes of existential despair, longing, and the quest for meaning amidst the backdrop of a seemingly indifferent universe. His poetry, essays, and philosophical dialogues reflect a deep engagement with classical literature, enlightenment thought, and romantic sensibilities, blending intellectual rigor with poignant emotional depth. Leopardi's poetry stands as the cornerstone of his literary legacy. In his seminal work, Canti, he captures the essence of human suffering and the fleeting nature of happiness. Through evocative imagery and lyrical language, 
Leparty laments the inevitability of mortality, the passage of time, and the futility of human aspirations. His verses resonate with a sense of melancholy and resignation, yet also with moments of transcendent beauty that offer glimpses of solace amidst the existential abyss. Central to Leparty's poetic vision is his exploration of the concept of infinito in his poem L'Infinito, in which he grapples with the limitations of human perception and the yearning for transcendence beyond the confines of earthly existence. Through vivid descriptions of nature and introspective reflections, Leopardi confronts the existential angst inherent in the human condition, seeking solace in the contemplation of the infinite expanse of the cosmos. In addition to his poetry, Leopardi's philosophical writings are equally significant. His operette morale, Moral Essays, comprises a series of dialogues and essays that delve into questions of morality, knowledge, and the nature of reality. Leparty's skepticism towards Enlightenment optimism and his critique of human hubris anticipate later existentialist thought, challenging conventional notions of progress and enlightenment. Leopardi's literary oeuvre is also characterized by his keen insights into the complexities of language and literary expression. His critical essays, such as Discorso sopra lo stato presente dei costumi degli italiani, Discourse on the Present State of the Customs of the Italians, offer incisive commentary on Italian society and culture, exposing the contradictions and hypocrisies of his time. Throughout his works, Leparty's profound sense of disillusionment is tempered by moments of aesthetic beauty and intellectual clarity. His writings resonate with a timeless relevance, speaking to the universal experience of human suffering and the perennial quest for meaning in an indifferent universe. Giacomo Leopardi's literary legacy is deeply intertwined with his profound philosophical pessimism, a worldview that permeates his poetry, essays, and philosophical dialogues. Leopardi's exploration of existential despair and the futility of human existence reflects a philosophical perspective characterized by a profound skepticism towards the possibility of human happiness and fulfillment. At the heart of Leopardi's philosophical pessimism, lies a profound sense of disillusionment with the human condition. Influenced by his own experiences of physical suffering, unrequited love, and existential angst, Leparty viewed life through a lens of profound skepticism and melancholy. His poetry, marked by themes of transience, mortality, and the relentless passage of time, captures the essence of human fragility and the inherent absurdity of existence. Indeed, Leparty's philosophical pessimism finds expression in his critique of enlightenment optimism and belief in progress. Rejecting the notion of human perfectibility and the idea of inevitable social and moral advancement, Leparty painted a stark portrait of a world marked by suffering, ignorance, and the inevitability of death. In works such as his philosophical dialogues, Operette Morale, Leparty interrogated the limitations of human knowledge and the illusory nature of human aspirations, ultimately arriving at a nihilistic perspective that eschewed hope for any transcendent meaning or purpose. Leparty's philosophical pessimism has elicited diverse interpretations and responses from scholars and readers alike. Some have seen his pessimism as a reflection of his personal suffering and disillusionment, while others have viewed it as a profound critique of the human condition and the limitations of human knowledge. Regardless of interpretation, Leparty's philosophical pessimism remains a central aspect of his literary legacy, inviting readers to confront the existential questions that lie at the heart of the human experience. Make sure you answer these questions to better understand the life and work of Giacomo Leopardi. Thank you for watching this video.